So we added the actor model. Now let us add the producer model. For that, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. So in Visual Studio, we need to create a new file. For that, inside the models folder, just right click, then go to add. Then we are going to add a class. The name is going to be producer. So this is our producer model. And then click add. Now, before you type any code in here, let us just go to the application. And then in here from the actor, I'll just go to the producers. And then in here, click the add new. The same way in here, we have a profile picture. We have a full name and a biography. So then I'll just go back to Visual Studio. And then here, actually, I'll just go to the actor. And then I'll just copy all these properties. So Control C. And then just paste them in here. Then import the namespace for the key. And then save the changes. Now we can see that we have the same code in the producer and in the actor. So a good practice in this case would be to just create a base class, have all these properties in the base class, and then inherit from the actor and the producer from that base class. I'm going to leave these properties this way because we have just three properties. But in the upcoming part, when we create the dynamic services, you are going to learn how to refactor this code.